Hey everybody, welcome back to Ethereal Art Studio, where I'm an artist, you're an artist, we are all artists. My name is Juan Scribe, and today I want you to paint with me as we take it to Marvel and Wakanda to paint the Jalia tree from Black Panther. Okay, so I'm glad that you're here with us today. Here I'm mixing just a little bit of black paint onto some purple. Then I start applying it to the canvas from the top down, starting with the top. Then I add more purple to the mix to make it more vivid, also to make it a little bit lighter. And then the trend is that, going lighter. So now I add white to the mixture. So my brush is a one and a half inch flat brush, but anything that you have that is big like this brush, you can use. And the trend continues, simply adding white every couple of applications to make the, the sky lighter and lighter, pretty much all the way to the bottom of the canvas. So after I'm finished painting the bottom of the cup, I could add four or five drops of water to some white paint that I have on the side over here somewhere on the paper plate, just uh, to make it very, very, very liquidy. And I use my pointer finger to sprinkle a lot of stars. Make it a starry night, make those stars nice and natural looking. This really beats doing one at a time. But then I dry it really well. So I have a hair dryer. If you air dry it, then let it dry for at least five to 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna mix some magenta with some white, a little bit of white, not too much. And then also some water. The water is so that it can be translucent since we're gonna add these rays of light that are up in the sky that will still be translucent, meaning you will still see the stars behind it. I'm gonna add a little bit more magenta or more pink to make it a little bit more, more vibrant and continue this trend. And then after this, I'm gonna take a dry brush. Here I have my dry brush, it's one and a half, sorry, it's a half inch brush this time, but really anything that's dry. And I use that to blur the ends of these rays of light. I'm gonna go back and forth between these two brushes, one to apply paint, a little bit more pink here and there, make it more vivid. And after each of these applications of this light in the sky, then I use, uh, I'm gonna use my dry brush to blur the ends, to make them a little bit softer and more ethereal. Just like that, just blur it, make it more cloudy. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more white and uh, continue to uh, add more light to the sky. This is brighter now, as you can see. And the same routine, adding more light and then blurring it with the dry brush. So now I'm gonna take some blue paint. And once again, we're gonna use water. So here I have my brush, I dried it and I washed it really well. Then I'm gonna add some water to this blue mixture to make it translucent again. It's gonna be like a glaze. I apply that, just gotta make sure that it doesn't drip on the canvas either. Here I dripped it just a little bit, but take it to the bottom. And then with that dry brush, once again, blur the top of it. And now I'm actually gonna use this same brush to paint some clouds. So this is a half inch brush, but you can use anything that is around that size to make some clouds in the sky, to paint them by dabbing like this. And then uh, you could even go smaller and get a smaller brush to add smaller clouds. I'm gonna do that in a second, as you'll see. So this scene right from the movie, here I'm, I'm using, I'm gonna use a smaller brush right here. This is a number 10 flat. This scene is when he is visiting the ancestral Jalia tree. So now I'm gonna make a dark blue. So simply adding a little bit of black to the blue that I have there. I'm gonna add some, some darkness to the top of this cloud over here. And then I'm gonna wash the brush and dry really well, that same small brush, number 10, that I have. And I'm gonna blur the darkness so that it blends with that cloud. You want it to look cloudy and seamless. 
Then I'm adding a little bit more small clouds. As you can see here, they're blue. But let's make it more interesting. Let's add some purple clouds as well. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to use a little bit of purple. I'll dry it. There's a little bit of purple. I didn't wash it because, you know, I like it that it mixes on the brush with a little bit of blue that was already there. So I used a little bit of white and a little bit of purple to just dab on some purple clouds now. Okay, so let's, let's make this blue even darker. So let's add black to it so it can be very dark. Here I have my half inch brush that I'm using to make the foreground. Now this is only one of three layers. Okay, I'm making this foreground. It's not a flat straight line. It's bumpy, right? It's a terrain. So I fill it in. Then I add more blue to that mix to make it lighter. And this is so that when I add more to this terrain, to the top of it only, it, it gives the effect that this, that there, there, there's, you know, there's more dimension to this land. It's not just uh, you know, right in front of us. It's actually, it goes far. So now I'm going to use blue by itself with the brush without washing it or anything. And now this is going to look like it's far away, as you can see, because it's lighter. So now let's make the tree. So we add some water once again to some black paint to make it very thin. We want it to be like ink-like consistency with a, I have my number 10 brush, so it's pretty small. And I start painting both sides of the tree. So the tree is gonna basically be just limbs that branch out of each other. And um, I guess the rule is that they branch in an outward direction. And also that the base, the base, the parts of the limbs of these branches that are closer to the trunk are thicker than the ends. That's, those are like the rules. So the tree branches and limbs and arms are thicker at the base than at the ends. So as you can see, I'm adding more and more limbs. Some of them are connected. They literally branch out of each other. And after a little bit, I will go on to a detail brush to add smaller branches in the same fashion. But for now, here I have my number 10 brush. And I'm making this beautiful tree on which there will be cats, panthers, and a lot of leaves. For now, we're establishing the, the skeleton of the tree, the tree by itself without any leaves. Here I'm going to make the first of the five leopards or black panthers that are on the tree. So they are going to be silhouettes at first, which will make it easier. Uh, we'll add a little bit more detail to them later. But for now, they're simply the outlines with which we will fill in. So here I'm adding a little bit to the snout of this one, painting the body. This is all with the detail brush. And make sure I have those cat ears and the tail that comes down. So now I'm taking a number 10 brush, which is again, one of my smaller brushes, and I'm dabbing black leaves. So this is the first of three layers of leaves. Simply dabbing leaves that, that are very easy to make. And I let that dry. So I wanna make sure that that dries for at least 10 minutes. Now I'm mixing green, which is a shamrock green but you could use any green really, I should say, and some blue and a little bit of black to make it this color that I'm gonna dab onto a dry tree, make sure it's dried in the same fashion. Now you could add more of these than you did the first layer. You could add more because the first layer is like the shadows, right? That you, so that you could see some shadows through the leaves. This is more like the, 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 the leaves that are visible, that are, you know, that we can see. 
So you could add a lot. So you can make it tall like this. And now I'm going to add some green to the body of the tree, to the trunk. Just little hints, right? You don't have to color it at all. It doesn't have to be a flat finish. It could have little, you know, spaces between the paint. Just want to add some color to the tree. There's a lot of color in this night, night um, scene. And you could use a smaller brush if you need to, to get to the small limbs. And now I'm adding more green to make it brighter to that mixture. So now it's a brighter green. And I dab on another layer of leaves. Once it's dry, of course, I did let it dry. You could use a hair dryer, you could let it dry with the air, but make sure it's dry. So now you can see that there's texture on the tree because we added more than one layer. We added more than two layers. So now there's texture. You can see that there is some darkness in there. There is these leaves that are at the forefront that are much brighter. You can do the same thing with the tree, add bright brightness to some of it just to give it more character, to give it more uh, realism also, just to make it more fun too. And you might have noticed that I held off on the other four Black Panthers. I wanted to finish the tree first. And here using uh, the detail brush, why don't we add some more bright green to this tree just to make it more illuminated, almost like a glow that's coming from it. You could add some to the trunk, to the limbs, you could add some to the leaves as well. Make it your own. And after that, let's make the four remaining Black Panthers. So let's make the outlines of these four regal leopards. And we will then fill them in. So they are four. They are like, they're lounging. They're resting on this tree. And all it is, is the detail brush with black paint that is, that has a couple of drops of water in it. Okay, so now what, what we can do is add some grass. So the easiest way to add grass is to use a fan brush. But if you don't have a fan brush, any brush that is wide, such as this, you get some of that nice green. It could be any of the shades of green. Just add some grass that shoots up from the ground. And now on to King T'Challa. So I have some of that dark blue that's on my paper plate from already from before. I add some white to it. Maybe one drop of water, then a little bit more of that blue. You want to get the shade that is his clothes. Now his clothes are white, but against this scene where there's so much blue, it has a shade of blue. So we start from the shoulders down.
And now here I have some brown. It could be any shade of brown. I, I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. And I'm going to start painting him, his head. So I start, it's going to be a side profile. So, and it's also from far away, the picture. So we don't have to add too many details to his face, which makes it a little bit easier. But it's his side profile and he doesn't, he doesn't have hair yet or a beard, not yet. I'm also going to add his hand over here. Then we'll paint his hair and his beard in black paint as well with the same detail brush. But wow, what an actor. I mean, what a complete and versatile actor. Chadwick Boseman, who left us way too soon, who was so charismatic and so interesting and soft-spoken and gifted. He was excellent as Jackie Robinson and Thurgood Marshall. And he did a good job as James Brown, too. And he was excellent in The Five Bloods and in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, for which he was nominated for Best Actor. Now, the character of Black Panther, King T'Challa, I mean, you know, he made this character from Marvel. Like, he made it his own and, like, just ran with it. And he is so uh, irreplaceable, you know. There's a little bit of talk about Letitia Wright who played his sister, Shuri, as being the next Black Panther, like taking over the mantle. Now that I think is a good idea because, you know, he's not being replaced with another actor. He's, in, you know, instead being, you know, the, it's, it's continued, the mantle, but through his sister, you know. So I don't know what you guys think, but I, I like that idea. So I added more grass. Now I'm adding grass on him. I also added shadow to his clothes, which was just a, a, a darker shade of that um, blue with a little bit of water. And so now I'm, I'm taking some green, dark green, or any shade that we might have on our paper plate, just adding some, some um, green light that is hitting these, these leopards, these black panthers. They don't have eyes yet. They simply have um, some, some details, some light. And um, I'm making sure that I leave spaces, right, where there's crevices, where there, you know, there, there's some shadow still. I'm going to take some white and add it to some of the green that I have to make it brighter. And I'm going to add eyes to each of these four Black Panthers. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for painting with me. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. Please subscribe to our channel. And make sure you like the video and also leave a comment. All our information is in the description section. And also, don't forget to check out our Etsy store and check out etherealartsstudio.com.